I've never seen anybody really talk about or discuss, you know, about being a, a bebop sideman. You know, I mean, I think a lot of guys would look at that and, and think, like, geez, wow, that must have been dynamite. And it probably was. But to give a perspective of, well, you know, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, but it wasn't really what I wanted to do. Exactly. It just kind of throws a whole new light, gets people thinking, you know, like. Uh, well, I'm going to keep that, that part in. That was good because I've always, I've always said that, you know, because what happened, you know, the drummers who have made great contributions, of course, you know, they were really, you know, people, when I look, when I listen to Baby Dodd, some of the lectures that he's given, and I understand something. Other than that, you know, most of the stuff has always been, you know, I mean, for example, there's a piece about, I think you, we dealt with it somewhere down here, maybe we cut it out about the fact that they, the critics poll made a point of saying that I was the first drummer collected to the critics. Uh, Who's, who was it, Downbeat? No, uh, Downbeat, uh, what was it, Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame. Because it's always been like uh, musicians who've written music and this and that and the other. And I kind of, uh, I resented that, you know, when I read that. I really did, because for me, the rhythm section and the drums in particular have they have they have been the basic the basis of of the evolution of the music. And when you say this is swing, it's so it's a, it's a rhythm section thing that causes that. Uh, Dixie Man and all that the same thing. And then when we get to the fusions and disco and all that, it's still the rhythm section. The onus is on the rhythm section. Things like that, I think, are important. And, and that's somewhere somewhere we find. I think we talked about that during the interview. Right, we did. We did. 